Hello and welcome to another video. Today, we're going to be doing an unboxing of probably one of the most anticipated items for the 2020 holiday season, the Fellow Ode Grinder. Now, I've had a heck of a time getting my hands on one of these up here in Canada. That James Hoffman guy seems to have beat me to a full review, so today's going to be a bit more of a casual video. We'll open up the box, I'll give you my first impressions, I have not opened this box yet. We'll do a quick comparison to the niche in terms of some grinding speed and overall build quality. And then in a few weeks time, I'll publish the full review once I've actually had some hands-on time with the product. So make sure to hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out on that. So before we crack open the box, there's a couple things I want to point out. The first of which is right on the front, and that is this little notice saying best for brewed coffee. Again, this is something that everyone has already recognized, but this is not for espresso. It simply cannot grind fine enough. So it's good that they actually put that right on the front of the box to manage expectations. Another good thing that I like to see on consumer level products is right on the bottom here, it says for household use only. Um, this is good. You should know this already at the price point it's coming in at. This is not a commercial grinder, so it's nice that they have that little disclaimer. Going around the rest of the box, it's nicely built. They've got a full diagram going over the features on the back, and you have the fellow logo on each end. So overall a good feeling box, a heavy feeling product. Let's open it up. On the front, you've got a diagram of the ode again on this pure black box and we'll open it up. You've got your instruction manual. I think this is quite clever. It's saying it's not a conspiracy. It's just good coffee. I wonder if this is a play on how long it's taken them to actually get this into consumers hands. I'm not sure, but there's your nice instruction manual and we'll crack it open. And there is the ode. Like I've said, I have not opened this. This is my first time opening it. So you get a true first impressions that I'm feeling about the build quality and all of those things. Let's get this open. Set the box down. I'll try to get this out somewhat gracefully. Three, two, one. All right, a bit more plastic to remove here. Okay, there we've got that lid with the brew designations on the inside. And I've got to say, that's a pretty sharp looking grinder. And there's the dosing cup. That's a nice dosing cup. I haven't quite noticed in other people's videos because they mostly have uh, the lid on, but this is all really nice metal. It feels high quality. All right. That's a bit tough to get on. All right, there we go. And nice. That little magnetic attachment. So I don't quite know which way to have this. Whoops. And what's that? Oh, and we've got a little little grinds brush as well. I can't tell if that's metal or plastic. It almost feels like plastic. So grinder, grinds brush, instruction manual, that's all you're getting in the box. Fairly simple package. I don't know what else you'd really be expecting. Let's take a quick look at the build quality. Again, this is my first time actually seeing the grinder. We have the grinds knocker there. That feels, that feels pretty good. How about the action on the grind adjustment? I know it's stepped, not stepless. It feels all right. There's a bit of there's a bit of wiggle to the dial that I wasn't necessarily expecting. It's not an unpleasant experience. It doesn't feel plasticky. It's just got a bit of it's got a bit of wiggle that I wasn't quite expecting. But as you can hear, there's a lot of metal and the matte black I think looks really awesome. So, let's get the niche up on the table. Let's compare them side to side. Let's run some beans through them as I know there's some speed differences and just see how they kind of perform. All right, so I've got 18 grams loaded into both the niche and the ode. I've turned the niche to the filter and drip type of coarseness range so that they're approximately the same. It won't be exact, but this is just a rough speed comparison. So before we do that though, I noticed something odd when I plugged in the ode for the first time. Let's see if you can hear it. So there's the beep, but then there's also an electrical hum. And that doesn't go away, whether it's running, whether it's stopped, that's always there. And it's loud enough that I wouldn't want to have this plugged in in my kitchen at all times, because my kitchen's right next to my living room. And if there was no other sound, you could definitely hear this. Take a listen. 
So I don't know if it's a defect of the particular unit that I got or if it's throughout the whole range, but that's actually quite significant for me that you'd have to unplug and replug in the ode each time you want to use it. Um, I'm going to reach out to them and see if that could potentially be a defect, but that electrical hum is quite loud. Other than that, let's move on. Let's flip both these on and compare their grinding speed. So, a pretty significant difference in speed. Um, we won't get into doing any testing of the coffee flavors, we won't be looking at the grinds right now. This was just a rough comparison um, of these two in terms of speed. Build quality wise, they seem quite similar. Speed wise, the Ode seems about twice as fast on a relatively similar grind setting. So I look forward to seeing these two kind of head to head in the full review. Again, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss the full video, and I'll see you in the next one.